Hey YouTube, welcome back. So uh, today I'm going to unbox uh, this. This one's the Auto uh, Fix Seven Six Ten Elite OBD Two uh, Scanner. It is a co-reader with a full system diagnostic scan tool for a uh, Volkswagen, Audi, Skoda, Seat, automotive uh, battery uh, registration. So with the full uh, system, it gives you more in-depth uh, full uh, detail and full function to diagnostic uh, your car with the engine cold air. Or if you have an engine light, you don't know what is the symptom or what's wrong with your car. This will be the best uh, tool. Anyway, I'd like to uh, give it a shout out to uh, Lady from their uh, marketing team for uh, sending me this. So yeah, let's go in there and unbox it and check out this uh, nice uh, unit. Here's the product description that I just uh, went over. So with this, uh, you could uh, pump brake uh, bleeding, immobilizer, dashboard, brakes, steering assistant, electronics, Central electronics, throttle of, uh, valve position, TPMS, fuel pump, gateway, interior monitoring, replace uh, brake pads, air condition, active uh, steering, vehicle uh, position detection, and uh, steering wheel column uh, electronics. And if you have an electronic uh, power brake uh, system, once you replace the brake pad, you will uh, need this uh, to reset it. And it is uh, made in China. By the way, this one also, also has a uh, IM uh, readiness. So with this function, you know if your car is going to pass a small check or not. So the read code, the erase code. This one also offer uh, data streaming and uh, EVAP system test vehicle information. Come with the user uh, menu right here. And uh, you also get a free update. This is the OBD2 uh, connector right here. Got this uh, nice uh, rocked uh, unit. Just got uh, cover with this uh, silicone TPU material. So it's uh, impact uh, resistant. And on the bottom right here, you got the micro USB to uh, update your uh, firmware. So yeah, let's go and then uh, test out on the 2007 uh, Volkswagen uh, Rabbit, okay? Alright, so we are inside this uh, 2007 uh, Volkswagen uh, Rabbit. Uh, let's go and then uh, put the key in and turn on the in uh, on position. So 
So now that without starting the car, if you want to do the live data, you will need to either start a car or uh, drive your vehicle and then uh, you'll uh, do the graph for you. So now we're gonna connect this uh, AutoFix uh, 7610 to the OBD2 uh, connector. Normally it's under the steering wheel column. And then for this vehicle, it's on the left hand side right here. Above the hood latch. So let's go ahead and then uh, press OK to read the OBD2. And uh, you see uh, readiness, yes, 3. And then readiness, uh, no. That means uh, this vehicle is not going to pass a small check. Because I uh, unplugged the battery and then uh, that's what happened. You need to do the drive cycle when you unplug the battery or if there's a problem with your uh, vehicle then it's not going to allow you to pass and right here after that we can read the code by pressing uh, recode so there's no faulty code press escape and then you can erase code right here I'm going to escape it if you erase the code and then uh, you need to redo your drive cycle again and then pass the smog so data stream View all item, or you can select uh, individual item that you want to view. Let's go ahead and click on uh, view all item. So when you start the engine and everything, uh, you show the fuel system one status and fuel uh, system two, and you show the engine coolant temperature, short term fuel trim bank one, long term uh, fuel trim bank one, and then uh, intake uh, manifold. Engine RPM, vehicle speed, and then uh, ignition uh, timing events for number one cylinder. Inter air uh, temperature. So all those uh, features that you can uh, check it out, all the items. You can also check on your oxygen sensor, bank one, sensor one, sensor two, ambient air uh, temperature. Okay, and then that's it. So if you do the select item, you do the, the individual item that you want to select to view. So uh, for example, uh, fuel uh, status, you could just uh, press uh, OK. And then go down, you can see uh, to check the fuel system to status. So for example, you want to diagnostic uh, certain item that you could select here uh, individually instead of uh, viewing all those uh, unwanted uh, items for the data stream. So total are 39 of them. So I select those two. And then you could also do the EVAP uh, system test. Uh, only certain vehicles have this uh, feature and stuff like that. So, and then the uh, vehicle information, it show you the VIN number and everything, calibration uh, identifications, calibration uh, verify uh, numbers, and that's it. So let's go back. And then uh, for Volkswagen, let's go press OK. So let's uh, click on all other vehicles, vehicle scan, do the system scan. Uh, 
Right, on the central electronics, find uh, three problems. Let's go ahead and check out what is it. So it show you all the parts number and everything. Serve station code. Read the faulty code. The fault code is not found in the database. Please uh, contact us to confirm. Oh. I didn't know the license plate lamp is bad, so 01504, so this is pretty cool. And then uh, 00156, activation for windshield washer pump. So I gotta check on that, either the fuse or the pump is bad. Then you can read the data stream by uh, starting your engine and stuff like that. View all items. Well, so it shows uh, like a parking lights and everything. Let me see if I turn on the lights. Oh. So when I turn on the light, it shows uh, 100%. Let's go down and see. Oh, the signal light. Left. So you troubleshoot if your lights and is working or not. High beam, wow, that is cool. And you also check your brake, let me see, hit the brakes. Oh my goodness, this is so cool. Even show the center brake light on or off. So as you see, it shows the license plate illumination is uh, 0%, so that means the bulb is broken. Because the, right now the headlight is on right now. As you can see, the dashboard is on. So when I turn it off, see? That's the headlight and everything is supposed to be on already on, outside the vehicle. And instrument animation, it shows uh, 71%. Let me uh, turn up higher. Wow. So it's reads the dashboard the illumination tube that's awesome and then you have a uh, left uh, backup lights let's see backup light I got piece of clutch oh there you go backup lights on activation uh, the relay terminal 50 and then there's a show the relay 15 and 75 are on. It show you the washer pump and everything. Cool. Horn, not operate. Oh, there you go. <laughs> Electric fuel pump relay is off because the engine is not on. And it even shows the front wiper status and everything. And uh, low beam, the headlights on right now. So if you have a fog light, you show the fog lights and everything too as well. Check out the flasher, the hazard light. So yeah, this one uh, scanner is pretty uh, sophisticated because look into a uh, deeper and troubleshoot uh, what's wrong with your vehicle and stuff like that. So. Okay, and then you can do the basic uh, setting here. See what's the adoptions. Not sure what's that one, but uh, let's see access authorization. Let's see what's wrong with the door electronic uh, passengers. Go and then uh, read faulty code. Oh, okay, yeah. This I, I know this problem. The mirror turn signal bulb is broken on the passenger side. So that one I need to change it. I know that uh, already. Let's see. Go back. Check out the door electronic on the driver's side. It has two problems. Go and then read the fault code. Lock unit for central locking driver's side. Let's see what else. 
Signal central locking safe lock on driver's side. And then uh, it depends on your car. If you have a, you could do the electronic oil reset. You could uh, use this uh, scanner to reset it. And then uh, electronic uh, power brakes uh, reset. If you have that feature, then you can use this uh, to reset it. So this one doesn't have it. And uh, this good thing about this one is like a two in one. You could also check on your battery. Please turn off engine. Current voltage is 11.98. And uh, press OK to start detection. So you want me to start the engine. Let me just do it real quick. I don't want to smell that small, but yeah, it shows uh, up to 14 something volts, which is uh, good. And then uh, BMS uh, reset. So right here you could do your battery uh, registration. Uh, on the newer vehicle, if you swap out the battery, you will need to reset with this. Or else you might think that you still have the old battery. And then there's an ETC uh, reset. It's the throttle reset function. It's uh, generally executed after the throttle is clean or when the idle speed of the vehicle is not in the normal range due to other reasons. The idle speed is adjusted to the normal range through the uh, throttle self-learning. Press OK to continue and escape to exit. Please uh, turn the engine on with engine off. Oh, so right now it's on with the engine off. Make sure there is no fault code in engine control unit. Turn off all electrical consumer. The cooling temperature above all. Oh, so it's not. The serial parallel must not be depressed. So I cannot do that. And then there's a tool setup. Right here you can set the different languages. These are all the different languages that will support. And then a beeper, you can turn it off if you don't want the beep. I'm gonna turn it back on. And then the instruction, display a startup. Unit of uh, measurement, so it, once you change that, if I change the imperial, uh, probably change to degree Celsius to degree uh, Fahrenheit. And then a skin type, there are two uh, skin types, sky gray or uh, gem blue. So this is the gem blue. I'm going to leave us sky gray and feedback the test uh, result. So you can send it to the, the company and then the device uh, information. Well, there you go. Anyway, uh, hopefully you guys uh, give a thumbs up, like the video. Please uh, be sure to uh, hit the subscribe button. Turn on that bell for notification or drop any other comments down below. And thank you for watching. See you guys on the next one. I always. Peace.